um, the fact that we are cognitive behavioural therapists. Mm. Now there's a lot of evidence between, behind CBT, a lot of use of CBT within the medical profession. Mm -hmm. Um, certainly for depression and all sorts of things like that. Yes. And the basis of our hypnotherapy, the way that we use it, is by focusing on how your thoughts change your behaviour. Yeah. So your thoughts are the, the, the cognitive, the cognitions of the of CBT? Yes, exactly. So as in that last... Um, Example, with somebody thinking about going to the dentist, they think to themselves, oh my God, it's going to be awful. Yes. So the likelihood is then, you know, their body language changes, their the heart may, hearts may, heart may race, mm -hmm. um, they may get sweaty palms, all that sort of thing. Or it's going to be terrible, I'm going to be out of control. It's all those thoughts in their heads. And that's, again, what we use when we do the hypnotherapy side of things, when it's positive. Yes. A positive suggestion is changing those thoughts, changing the way you look at things, changing the way you imagine things, and the thoughts, affirmations I use yes. you know, a lot with people. Um, I can do this. I am doing this. And those affirmations being very positive and very progressive. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, the evidence side of um, hypnotherapy, cognitive behavioural hypnotherapy, yeah. um, what do you know about that, Steve? Well, I mean, th this is one of the things that attracted me to uh, cognitive behavioural hypnotherapy. Um, it is the evidence base, because I think whenever you're dealing with a client, um, even if they don't ask you directly, there is a kind of unspoken question of, you know, is this going to work for me? Yes. And we do a lot of work to dispel some of the, the beliefs uh, that work against them. Uh, um, I don't know how to be hypnotised, would I be good at hypnotising, all those sorts of things. Um, but what they want to know is, if they're, they're coming to see us and they're paying us some, some money, is it going to work? And the, the answer um, we want to be able to give is, the realistic answer is, you know, hypnotherapy doesn't suit everyone. Um, it doesn't suit every issue. However, there is a body of research, uh, clinical research from trials, um, which have been peer-reviewed, um, where the effectiveness of the, the processes that we use have been compared to um, either you know, doing nothing or yeah. some placebo, placebo yeah. um, you know, to demonstrate that they are more effective than... Than doing nothing, like you say. Or, or, or a placebo. Um, I mean, having said that, we do have to generalise sometimes. If somebody comes to see us for a, um, say, a, a needle phobia associated with uh, going to see a dentist, then there may not actually be research or study into that specific. You know, people go to see dentists. No. However, you could argue and say, well, if somebody's scared of needle injections, that's going to be the same kind of thing as and anybody going to, sort of yeah, yeah. going to see a doctor. Yes. For or you know, having a blood test or something like that. So if you can find a study that says, you know, people who had a fear of needles, we did this process on them, and we had these um, results, uh, which prove its eff efficacy. Yes. Uh, then I think it's reasonable to generalise that to anybody who's having an injection. I agree, but I think um, what I say to my clients is irrelevant of the um, the trial evidence. Mm. It's about how much that person puts into it. Yeah. I always say that if people come and they commit themselves 100% to making the changes in their life, to doing things differently and get, getting a different result, they are going to get better results than yeah. somebody that comes in and just has the session, expects the magic wand, yeah. goes away from the session and doesn't do any of the suggested tasks that's going to build upon the session. Um, they won't do as well in likelihood, as somebody that commits 100% and yeah. does everything. And they think, no, oh, it didn't work, when actually, no, no you didn't do it. You didn't do it, you know, exactly. th These things work, but you have to do them. You have, you, to, I, commit I, to, them. You have to do them with the right mindset. They actually, you have to have an expectation of it working. That's right. Um, you have to have you know, a positive expectation. And, the same and you have to do it with some, some volition. Yes. And you know, engage yourself in the, in the exercise. And go for it. And go for it. Yeah. yeah. And nothing we we do is particularly difficult. No. Uh, 
uh, with some is so simple that that simplicity in itself. And sometimes the simple things yeah, can have the biggest say, impact. How can this work when it's so easy? Yeah, yeah. 